Hey everybody, welcome back to our second week of Sunday Night Family Worship. I hope you enjoyed singing and learning together with your family last week as much as I did. Now listen, it is super important that you're awake and that you're alert so you can learn as much as you possibly can tonight. So we're gonna do a little trick that I like to do with my kiddos when we want a quick burst of energy. I call it the wake up shakedown. And it goes like this. You're gonna lift your right hand up in the air and you're gonna shake it five times as fast as you can. Then your left hand five times, your right leg five times, and your left leg five times. And then we're gonna start over again and shake out four times, three times, two, all the way down to one. Are you ready to do this with me? All right, well stand up wherever you are, parents too, and let's do a quick wake up shakedown. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, 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 one. Woo! All right. <laughs> well, are you feeling better? Man, I'm feeling awake now. Well, I, I have a question for you. Have you ever seen an amazing piece of art or maybe a sculpture, and you've wondered about the artist. Who made that? What is that person like? And don't we intuitively just know that that work of art didn't just show up out of nowhere? We know that someone had to intentionally put thought and effort into making that art what it is. Well, have you ever looked around at the trees or the beautiful sky or, or even at the details of your own hand and wonder, how such an amazing world came to be. Where did it all come from? Is, is there an artist behind all of that too? Well, today we're gonna find out. But before we do, let's join the Wheeler family as we now add the second verse to the hymn Doxology. And I'll see you again in just a bit. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him, above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. God is the creator of everything. 
everyone and everything. All right, guys, let's pray for us. Um, Father God, please bless this time uh, while we study your word, learn uh, more about you. Please um, help, help us to have a good, uh, enjoyable, joyful experience and uh, be glorified by our family worship time. In your name, amen. Michaela, we're praying. How do you pray? Show me a, no, show me a posture of prayer. There we go. All right. So, guys, today's catechism question is, what is God? No, no cheat. If you already saw the answer. But I want to ask, um, who knows what a biography is? Does anybody know what a biography is? No. No, okay. So a biography is a book about a person. So if you pick up a book about Mark Twain, you would learn all about Mark Twain. His life growing up. Now, what do you think an autobiography is? It's like um, someone reading a biography. Maybe. Um, a recording. It's someone saying, it's like someone reading from their diary. Kind of like that. So an autobiography is when a book about somebody, but that person wrote their own book. It's when you write your own biography, that's called an autobiography. So if we want to know about God, what is God, we should go to... His autobiography, right? Yeah. It's a book that God wrote about himself. So, let's see what... I've, I've got some passages picked out. If I was going to start a book, where... If you were going to start reading a book, where would you start? At the beginning. At the beginning. All right, let's read. Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So in the beginning, at the very beginning of everything, who was there? God was there. Later on in Exodus, Moses meets God. So how did how did Moses meet God? At the burning bush. At the burning bush. And how does he so Moses is like, well, hang on, hang on. If you're sending me to some people, who do I tell them when they ask me who sent me, what do I say? And God said to Moses, this is Exodus 3.14, I am who I am. So basic. So what? It, so you think God's having a hard time trying to explain Himself? No. I think so. I think He is. Because how can we understand the greatness of God? I am who I am. It's like I am existence itself. Because God was there before anything else existed. He was there in the beginning. We think about how great God is. He was there forever. It's hard to imagine. Like there was no beginning. He was always there. He was always there. All right, so Colossians 1, verse 15, starting on verse 15. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, both things in the heavens and on the earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. That. That is a great God. So, but for our catechism, for the first city catechism, the answer to the question, what is God? The answer is, God is the creator of everyone and everything. That's kind of the first big thing. So, as we think about God and worshiping him, just be amazed at how great and awesome he is. And we can see his works everywhere we look in creation. He shows us and points us to what kind of a God he is. And we also have his autobiography, okay, guys? Good study? Good study. Well, there you have it. God is that amazing artist behind all of creation. Or as this week's catechism puts it, God is the creator of everyone and everything. 
So now our time is coming to an end, but your family gets to continue worshiping together by reading the scriptures and spending time in prayer. Enjoy, and I'll see you again next week.